much going on, friends. Sam Prentice back once again at Rapid TCT in LA. I'm at the Creality booth and also the Prio Creep booth. Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. Morning. You know, um, I was thinking this uh, this feels a bit like getting the band back together. What band? Yeah, I mean, there was no band. Yeah, it's like the first time we're doing it. Like, we didn't do anything last year, so. We were going to do some stuff last year, and then we didn't end up doing the stuff last year, and now. But there's no band. Like, I don't Yeah, but I mean, just, start a band? it, it kind of just feels right, you know? Well, if we had a band, what would we even name it? Mm. The Fruity Tromboners. No? I need some coffee, dude. I'm not, I can't. <laughs> Rapid CCT 2024. I'm here with my good friend Dan from Slice Engineering. We have got some very interesting news to bring you with Mako. It's not a shark. It's not a shark, not a real one. It's a hot end. It's a hot end. Let's yeah. get straight into it. All right. So Dan, this is pretty exciting. Um, moving and changing inside of Slice Engineering, tell us all about this new nozzle for the Bamboo Lab printers. And again, I guess we're gonna do P1P, P1S, and X1 Carbon, because they are yeah. different, of course. They are different, yeah. Okay. So the Mako Hot End covers all the P-Series and all the X-Series machines, including the X1E, which is really exciting. So it goes all the way up to the top of the line for what Bamboo offers. Uh, Mako is named after the fastest shark in the ocean because it's a it's a very fast hot end. So we're looking at 30 to 60% increase in flow rate performance, depending on what material you're selecting, what profile you're using, and what size nozzle, of course. Which leads me to the next thing. Uh, Nozzle changes are a bit of a pain with yep. the Bamboo Labs oh, machines. Yeah. It's a great product, obviously, from a user experience standpoint, but the one sort of major shortfall is around changing a nozzle. Okay. You have to pull out the entire hot end currently with the stock unit. With the Mako, we have launched an entirely new standard of nozzles called FIN. It stands for Free and Open Source Insulated Nozzle Standard. We Not published bad. the standard. Yeah, yeah. And for the first time ever, this is an unprecedented thing, for the industry, we've worked with three of our competitors to build nozzles that are launching with this. So we've okay. got our own Gamma Master nozzles, which people may be familiar with, that uh, will ship with these, but it'll also ship with an option of a CHD nozzle from Bontech, which yep. further improves the flow rate capacity. And we also have options from Diamondback and from Micro Swiss. So if you want a lifetime nozzle from Diamondback, you can put that immediately on your bamboo machine. There's no other way to do that, right? That's now. crazy. Yeah. Right, okay. I mean, it's big thinking, isn't it? This right. isn't just trying to, you know, many companies inside of 3D printing are kind of, they want to keep themselves to themselves. They, right. you know, that, it's their, their piece of the market. Yeah. You're doing something really different. It's totally different. Before, nozzles were all, always designed with manufacturability in mind. Yeah. And how do we make nozzles as cheaply as possible? This nozzle was really designed for the reason it's called insulated, the eye in the fin stander, is this boot fits on the nozzle in such a way that only the very tip of the nozzle is protruding, which means that when you're blowing cooling air on the on the parts, it's not also cooling the nozzle. Sure. And the way the boot is designed to fit around it, and that part of it is, a portion of that is also open source, is uh, it allows for an air gap around the hop lock so that you're really creating an air, a hot air cushion so that the nozzle and the hop lock is not cooling as quickly. The one thing I, I noticed when you were talking that your emphasis on open source. Right. Uh, that's seemingly changeable because obviously past history has been, you know, we were trying to, I say we, I mean you, um, <laughs> you know, Science Engineering has been, been known for making awesome products, but also wanting to you know, protect IP ultimately. Sure. Um, so there's a shift change here about open source. So it's, it's interesting that you say that. So it's not actually a shift change. So we have always talked about a hybrid IP model, which means that we open source things that we think are gonna be a total benefit to the industry. Yep. And we protect with patents the things that we feel like are necessary for our survival and, and to move R&D forward, right, for us as a company. And so 
Mako actually uses a roll cage just like the mosquito hot end does. And so it actually takes advantage of the existing mosquito hot end family. Got it. So we're hopeful that every other nozzle manufacturer jumps on this standard and starts making nozzles that are compatible not only with the Mako hot end, but all next generation hot ends should be coming with a nozzle that is thermally optimized because why would you not want to thermally optimize your nozzle? Key questions then. Yeah. Price mm -hmm. and how much faster will this produce filament? Sure. Likely you're printing in PLA, PETG, ASA. Well, where does this really yes. see a benefit? You know, where's, just, where, yeah. where's the benefit in right. somebody that's just going to be printing in PLA? And is there a benefit? Yeah. So there's absolutely a benefit in PLA and there's a benefit in every material that is in the, the bamboo library of filaments. So we, we worked with bamboo on this actually, and we tested specifically their library of filaments that they sell through their stores yep. and their distributors and resellers, because we want to enhance the overall experience and not uh, sort of tell everybody hand wave and go look over here, right? Sure. So <laughs> this has been tested with PLA, with PETG, with ASA, with PC, uh, all the materials that they have on their store and all of them are going to see some flow rate benefit. But the uh, whether it's the reason I quoted a range of 30 to 6% is because some of them are going to print faster and some of them are not going to print as fast. Okay. This is the sixth revision wow, of, okay, right. of Mako, okay, um, before, it's, before it went to production. And so in each of those iterations, we are running flow rate tests and all sorts of tests. Uh, but we start with flow rate and then we go to, all right, what does that, what does flow rate mean practically? And that's where something like a rocket test comes in where it's like, all right, takes three hours with the normal one with stock version, takes two hours with ours. That is a real tangible, recognizable real world application and, and something that a user is going to feel. hundred dollars for the base unit. Right. And then if you want the electronics pre-installed for either P1, P, P1S, X1C, X1E, uh, those are, are a little bit additional. So it's going to ship in a box that looks like this yep. with some thermal grease. In this case, we've got a fan and all the electronics pre-installed. And so this is essentially what it would look like coming from the factory. This is a CHT nozzle yep. pre-installed. All right, it. yeah, yeah. And then one of our Gamma Master nozzles there uh, in the box. So this would be $125 with the fan and everything Oh, wow, okay, okay. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's actually really reasonable, isn't it, when yeah. you consider. Uh, I must admit, when I, when I buy replacement parts, I really want them just built and I can just stick them right. in. But like exactly. you say with the nozzles, if I'm replacing nozzles, it, it, this would make it much easier. Way easier. The changes that I'm seeing in the market at the minute are Core XY printers that can print fast, but I'm also seeing, especially through um, Polymaker, and this video is sponsored by Polymaker, so thanks guys. Um, Polymaker have just launched uh, two new ranges of, of filament as well, mm -hmm. and they are positioning themselves in a way that uh, actually, the lower melting points, the faster speedy print speeds is really where it's going to be at. So right. this seems like it's a race now. Mm -hmm. So the people that can produce speedy nozzles, right. pushing the plastic as quick as we can, that's really where this is all heading, while also maintaining quality. Right. Where do you stand with that? Yeah. So last year at Rapid, we announced our Mosquito Prime hot end, which is also flow rate and performance focus, right? sure. but more industrial. Yeah. And whereas this is more of a, a desktop product. And so we are always focused on pushing performance. Yep. And it just depends on what the application of that performance is, right? We've got customers that are printing prosthetics with Mosquito Prime in yep. a large build volume that's going to take multiple hours. And then we've got desktop users that want to print faster at home or in their office or at their engineering studio. So when are these available? Can we do a pre-order today? Pre-order is, is available as of... Tuesday, June 25th. The production units are being machined as we speak. Wow. Uh, we okay. started machining a couple weeks ago, yep. and those will ship in August. And that's in the US? That's in the US. Oh, yeah. homegrown stuff. Homegrown stuff. I love yeah. that. Dan, once again, uh, you set the standards, and uh, you know it's really good working with you. It's really good to see you. Continuing to see you at all these different events as well is amazing. And yeah. thank you once again, yeah. dude. You're, Thanks, you're, you're a top man. Um, SliceEngineering.com is the place to be. Check it out now. Today's video is sponsored by our friends over at PCBWay.com. From schematics to reality, PCBWay.com is your one-stop solution for not only PCB manufacturing, but for also 3D printing. Yes, imagine such a thing as 3D printing. Well, they do that. Their website is simple and easy to navigate. All you need to do is upload your .stl file, select which materials you want to print with, and voila, the price is generated and you click order. Thank you once again to PCBWay.com for being part of this video.
Rapid TCT, we are at Eligu with Kevin. How are you, sir? How are you? I'm good. Well, we last saw each other. We saw each other at Form Next. Yeah. And then I came out to Shenzhen and we met at your offices uh -huh. as well. So really good to meet you. But you here's the shocker, uh -huh. the Centuri Carbon. Carbon. Corex My Printer. Yes. This is a, um, what I would call like a DVT model. So this is going to be a test model mm -hmm. that you're showing off here. We've got a Corex Y. Mm -hmm. There are some defining features on this. There is a um, filament exit chute at the back. Uh -huh. So we can start guessing to perhaps what this is going to be. I had a look inside earlier. We do have a camera up here as well. Yes. So we're going to have some AI smart elements to uh -huh. this. But this is a work in progress, right? Yes, but this camera, uh, I mean, I th this is a default uh, function. And uh, I think the final version will have the camera as a default uh, functionality. So right. it can provide, you know, time lapse yep. video and also uh, real time monitoring. And also it can help provide like spaghetti detection. Oh, sorry. So, okay. It can help with the high visual uh, printing job. Great. So again, this is, this is a prototype model. So what we're seeing here, it probably won't be at the time of manufacture. It probably will be slightly different. Things will be changing on this, I yes. imagine. Can you tell us anything about where you're going with multicolor material, or can uh, you not tell me anything about that? Well, right now, uh, I would say uh, in this version, it doesn't come with the AMS uh, yep. system, but uh, we are definitely working on that. And okay. uh, I don't think uh, when we release this model, it will come with a multicolor system because uh, right now. Uh, the solution uh, from our end is not very stable and uh, we want to make sure all the products come up at a stable performance. That's really exciting. I mean, we're obviously used to the Neptune bed slingers that you've produced, obviously the Orange Storm Giga. Um, you know, this is quite a refreshing achievement for you guys because it's a step in, into the super fast or speedy printing that a lot of other companies are kind of enjoying at yeah. the moment. What's your dream about this product? Where do you want this to go? I think starting from Nathan 3, we're starting to have more users who are who like our FDM field printers. Got it. So from a, just so I'm clear, so from a marketing strategy point, mm -hmm. Eligu are now moving towards Core XY, speedy printing, but out of the box, one and done, you get it out of the box, it's beautifully put together, uh -huh. great quality control. Mm -hmm. Where are you with price with that? Where are you looking to come in on the market? I, I don't think I can give you any like a range or something, but okay. maybe we can wait for maybe earlier in August. Right. We will have more information about the price. Okay, yeah. earlier in August, we're going to find out more about this. Kevin, I'm not going to press your buttons too much more with this uh -huh. because this looks like an awesome product, uh, aesthetically very pleasing. This is all metal around here as uh -huh. well. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is full, fully, fully yeah, metal. metal structure. That's really cool. Um, uh -huh. What's the size of the build volume in here? 256. Okay. By 256. So 256 with another kind of common number that we're, we're seeing more <laughs> and more now. Um, yeah. This looks awesome. Um, good luck with it. And uh, thank you. You know, if you need someone to review, hit me up. Sure. sure. Lovely. Take thank care. You. Thank you. Take care. Rapid TCT, here we are with living legend, Jason, Jason from LDO. LDO. Yeah. He even says his own name, that's how well tuned this is. We want to talk a little bit about the Positron. Now, yes. I did miss you at Open yeah. Source. Yeah. We missed you at Murph, yeah. but here we are, yeah. the two of us together sure. finally yeah. at TCT. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Well, yeah. listen, dude, tell me all about it. Positron is uh, upside down printing 3D print. It's a uh, fully open source and we work with the Positron team yep. to work on it. We almost work on this like two years and we try to polish it from the original concept, the upside down and could portable and foldable fit into a filament box. And yeah. you can carry on to your backpack or everywhere for design or for work or for show. Yeah. It, kind of, it kind of feels a bit like a novelty. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of my first questions is, what stops the filament from dripping all over the nozzle? Yeah, the the hot end is a 90 degree hot end. We, we, uh -huh. we, we redesigned from the original design. It's a 30, uh, 72 wattage, pretty high temperature. Yeah. So what's the build volume on this? 180 by 180 and by 165. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, about seven inch, six half inch. Yep. Yeah. So we're running Clipper? Yeah, it's running Clipper. Use the uh, Raspberry Pi CM4 
Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's, I let you, okay. I let yeah. you touch it and broke yeah, it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm so yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> you okay, Chuck. Just let, let it go. Yeah, I mean, it's maybe the cable. <laughs> you lose the cable, but sorry, it's fine. I'm so sorry. Some, this sometimes it's happened. This is yeah. going to be an important model, yes. I'm sure. Yeah, it's kind of uh, tricky sometimes. Is there anything you can't print material-wise on this? I mean, we're obviously going to be going up to a certain degree yeah. of filament so i'm yeah. guessing pet g maybe pla pet g but some ASA. hobby guys they did put a small enclosure and oh, put right. the abs asa interesting yeah interesting. yeah because the hot end you easy you can get the 260 for the abs the asa right. that's easy okay so what's the price uh the price the current retail price is 16.99 in yep. united states but maybe a little bit more in the eu because of the shipping Texas, yeah. And where can we buy one of these? Yeah, we have a bunch of reseller, Mad Hackers, Fabrico, Wester 3D, and in EO 3D Jack, and in the UK, One Do 3D. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We have yeah. a bunch of reseller if you find our website. Smashing. Yeah. Hey, listen, Jason, I don't want to yeah. take up too much of your time, but sure. thank you. So thank much you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. You are watching a master work.